And the fourth and final point is that all problems are temporary. You need to understand in life that all problems are temporary. I had a guy get in touch with me. This has been years ago. He was diagnosed as having an incurable disease. And he told me, he said he only had six months to live. The doctor said, you only have six months to live. And he asked me, he said, John, what would you do if you only had six months to live? And I gave it some serious thought. And I said, I think this is what I'd do. I would sell everything that I have. Move to the plains of West Texas. Buy me a pig farm with 500 head of pigs. And I'd work that pig farm for the next six months. He thought, man. He said, what else would you do? I said, well, if I only had six months to live, I would work that pig farm, but I would also find me a divorced woman that had at least a dozen kids. And I would raise, marry that woman, raise those kids, and work that pig farm for the next six months. And that guy looked at me and he said, that don't sound like much fun. Will that make me any better? I said, no, but it'll be the longest six months of your life. <laughs> Do you understand that whether it is the longest or the last, six months of your life that all problems are temporary. We are eternal beings walking through time to eternity. And whatever we deal with here, even though it may seem a long time from our perspective here, from an eternal perspective, it's temporary. I love to travel. I have been fortunate enough to be able to have traveled a great deal in my life. I have traveled to all 50 states. My wife and I, we have seen an active volcano in Hawaii. We have been to Glacier Bay in Alaska. I have been to California and seen the redwood and the sequoia trees, which are said to be among the oldest living things on this planet. We have both gone to Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park. We've gone to the canyon called Grand several times, taken a, a ride down the river and flown over it in a helicopter. We've been to the bottom of Carlsbad Caverns. We've been to Mount Rushmore. I've been to the top of the Empire State Building and gazed out over the Isle of Manhattan. Been to Canada, ridden down the St. Lawrence Seaway. I've also ridden the Panama Canal from the Pacific to the Atlantic. I have walked the streets of New York City, Chicago, Sydney, Australia, Melbourne, Australia, Brisbane, Australia, Christ Church in New Zealand. We have walked the streets of London, Paris, and Rome. I have been to the land that they call Holy. I have waded in the Jordan River. I have looked inside the tomb that is empty. And I have said a prayer at the Wailing Wall where the Temple of Solomon used to stand. I have also been to the land of antiquity, taken a ride down the Nile River, been inside the Great Pyramid of Khufu, and on one night that was so clear, you could almost reach up and grab a star. In front of the Sphinx, over a loudspeaker, a man told 
what people of history had been exactly where I was at that time. Abraham, Joseph, Moses, Alexander the, the Great, Julius Caesar, and the list went on and on and on. People that had gazed up at the Sphinx, people that had gazed at the pyramid where I was at that time. And every time I go to a place such as that, I always say something to that place, and this is what I say. Before God even created you, or before man created you, God chose me for His eternal purposes. Ephesians 1.4 and long after you have ceased to exist, long after you have eroded into nothingness, I will still be, for I am eternal. And if you understand that, then you will understand that there is no problem, there is no situation, there is no circumstance that can outlive you. Because whatever it is, Whatever it is, is temporary. And you are eternal. Problems put a framework on life. If the truth be told, you do not want a life without problems. If the truth be told, you do not want a life where there is no problems. You don't want a marriage where there is no problems. You don't want to have a relationship with children where there's no problems. What you want is to have something that's real. You want a, ma a relationship with your wife or your husband. You want something that's real. You want a real relationship with your children. And you want a real relationship with God. Because if you have something that is totally, incontrovertibly real, you wouldn't give it up for the world. 